Hey girl, hey, get in here. Come on, come on, come on, girlfriends. Get in here. I have something to share with you today. Is going to be fantastic. Okay, fabulous, nothing less. Okay, so the hubs called today and said, babe, you know, it is Friday. Um, he said, babe, I'm bringing over, I'm inviting over um, a couple of the guys tonight um, for a couple of beers and we're going to sit out and smoke a few cigars and, you know, I guess just chill. So he said, is there anything you can put together really, really quick for me and the guys? And I said, this is Cindy you're talking to. Okay, she can put anything together. <laughs> so my answer to that was, of course, babe, sure, no problem. And the first thing that I thought about was seafood because it's a Friday night. Fried fish, maybe fried chicken, some onion rings. You know, he did mention beer, so that would be perfect. Then I thought hot wings. Then I thought, you know what? Charcuterie board. Yes. That's what we're going to do today, people. I'm going to show you how to put together a quick charcuterie board that will have all the little things on there that they can uh, pick up and eat and nibble on as they're talking and smoking their cigars and drinking their beers. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I like to put together a quick charcuterie board with the items that I already have in my pantry and in my fridge. And what you see here is uh, one of my um, boards that I have, cutting boards uh, or serving trays, I like to um, call it. Um, I usually keep this up over the fridge. And what I did was I took it down and I'm going to give it a quick wipe down just in case any dust or anything have gotten on it. And then I'm going to oil it down a little bit with a little olive oil, um, virgin olive oil that is. Um, and so um, once I do that, then we'll continue and I'll show you all the items that I'm going to use today for this charcuterie board. All right. Stay tuned. So get your drinks. Get your snacks, get whatever you need so that you can continue to watch this video um, and see how I put together a quick charcuterie board uh, using the items that I already have in my pantry and in my fridge. All right, stay tuned. So this is... Um all the items that I have for the charcuterie board. Um, and uh, first we're gonna start off with the uh, gourmet cracker cuts. Um, this is something that I already had in the fridge. Um, all of these different cheeses would be great. Um, the next thing I have is the Old World Prosciutto, Prosciutti, Shutta. Um, I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, but you guys know what I'm talking about, prosciutti, a prosciutti. Um, so, got that. And then I got some dry aged, crumbled, um, chopped up um, prosciutto um, as well. Then I got the salami and, and the provolone here. And then I have another little pack of uh, crackers and um, cheeses and. Um, same type of meat, dry aged or dry cured prosciutto. Um, then I have some goat cheese and I have the cranberry, I believe this is. Yeah, cranberry, orange, and cinnamon um, goat cheese. That looks like it's really gonna be good. I have that in the fridge. I have some smoky bacon cheese um, that comes like in a ball um, situation. I have a lemon, of course. Lemon is always good with a lot of things. I have some more cheese, some spicy beer um, cheese. And then I have the smoky jalapeno cheese. 
that would go, go good with any type of crackers. I know the men is going to love that. Then I have the chili fig spread. Um, looks like all that I'm missing right now is my toasted breads. I don't have any of those, but I do have these multi-grain crackers. I do have the flatbread Italian herb crackers there. I also have some different nuts, some walnuts, some sweet maple and hot honey nuts back there. I'm going to add a few uh, dill pickers. Um, along with that, I have some dried cranberries for their sweet tooth. I have some figs back there. And um, I also have a few tomatoes that I'm going to put on there. And then I'm going to do a quick tuna i don't know if you guys know um like these tuna packs but i always buy a lot of these because you can eat these straight out the pack this is a jalapeno flavor they now come in all kind of different flavors so i have two packs of the jalapeno i'm gonna uh, uh put those probably in a small little um uh, serving tray and place that probably in the middle of the board and they can scoop that up with some crackers and everything and then last but not least, I do have some beef jerky, hot shot beef jerky. And I know it's winter time. Well, it's not winter, but it's fall. And uh, a lot of the men like to um, eat, you know, the beef jerky. So I'm going to put some of those on a tray as well. And uh, I think that this is probably going to be a cute little um quick little charcuterie board that the guys are, are pretty much going to enjoy. Um, now your charcuterie board or char board is like, uh, it's really what I like to call it because a lot of people don't know how to pronounce, um, charcuterie. Um, just like I have a, a hard time pronouncing this proscuoto or prosciutto prosciutto, um, or prosciutto, you know, um, you know, where some people are tight on, some people don't know how to pronounce different things. So, um, I just say dry aged ham for this. That's, that's basically what I call it. It's prosciutto, but still, I just say dry aged ham and put that on there. Um, so what I like to call this is a char board, um, you know, because some people don't, um, know how to pronounce the word charcuterie, um, charcuterie or charcuterie. It depends on how you pronounce it and where you're from, northern or southern or east uh, or western rather. So I like to just say charboard, okay? So when I say charboard, you know, I mean the charcuterie board, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, move this along and I'm going to place everything on the board and show you how I'm going to put this together in under 20 minutes. All right. So everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so as you can see, I have already started this charcuterie board. What I did was I took everything out of the packs and uh, I simply just place the items on the board. I did use uh, these uh, mosaic um, appetizer set that I got from, I believe it was Michael's, um, no, 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 it was Party City. I got this mosaic set from Party City and what it includes is, it includes these little small trays. Um, some of them are clear trays and then some of them are white trays. And then um, there were, oh, some of those, them are the small flat trays, and I'm not sure if you can see them here, but they also come in clear and white as well, and they're a little bit flatter. And what those are, those are for appetizers, um, things that you might, you know, if you want to serve appetizers, you just put them on those little trays then. Place, place them on your serving tray and people can just pick them up as they go. And so I decided to use those um, just for this charcuterie board so that, you know, as everybody is picking up what they like to eat, um, they can um, just pick up the trays and eat their nuts or pick up the trays and eat some of the ham or the tomatoes, you know, things like that. So I didn't want to make it too um, where everybody is just, you know, all over the place. But I wanted to just put some single little trays in there just in case, you know, if everybody wanted to just pick them up and just eat, okay? 
So um, what I'm about to do now, I'm going to finish uh, putting um, the, the um, what is this, the tuna. I have three different tunas. Uh, well, actually two. I have two of the spicy jalapeno tuna. And then this is just a lemon pepper tuna. And I'm going to just go ahead and just pour that, just pull it out and just really just put it into the shells um, that I have here. This is tuna that is already um, ready to eat. And, um, you know, you don't have to do much to it because it already have a nice little flavor to it. So, um, you know, since it already have the flavor to it, there's not really a lot that you, you need to do actually. So, um, I went ahead and put that in there. So we have the three different tunas. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and finish, uh, putting the cocktail sauce in here. And uh, I did add some shrimp cocktail to this because I thought, you know, why not? Uh, it's something that they can just, you know, uh, easily grab and, you know, eat. So I thought it would be a good, um, a good idea to just use um, the shrimp cocktail. And, uh, you know, that's something extra that they can put on their charcuterie board. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up this lemon. Where's my knife? I have my knife here. I'm just going to really just slice a quick little lemon um, just so that they can have, you know, something to... Um, you know, for their drinks. Sometimes when you have drinks, you, you, you might want a little lemon to take that after effect of um, something that you're eating, maybe like the tuna or something like that. They might want to, um, you know, suck on a lemon or they may want to just simply put the lemons in their drinks. So I am going to cut those and just leave them here on the tray. Slice the rest of them up. Okay, just like so. And they can take those out. And then I have um, some beef jerky. <laughs> I know you guys are laughing. You're probably saying beef jerky, oh my God. But men like beef jerky. And especially when they are, um, eating you know drinking and things like that so i'm just going to take a, a little bit of this beef jerky and i'm going to put some here on the tray not a lot just a little bit you know just for fun and just for them to have something to chew on and to talk about you know especially when men you know they get to the point where they want to um talk smack you know a lot of times they need something to talk about so um this is actually it i am going to let's see where's the cheese spread i'm gonna put the cheese spread here and then i also have i'm gonna put that in there just so that if they want to dip it um the fig they can dip it and put it on their cracker so that way they have something for everything. And uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I'm gonna leave that there, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple more of these uh, Italian herb crackers just down in the cracks. What I like to do is normally I like to have uh, some sort of lettuce um, on my board just to fill up the little cracks in between everything to make it look nice and full. But since I don't have that, what I did was just, you know, put more crackers on the board uh, so that 
um, you know, once everybody gets to eating, you know, there are um, extra crackers. Um, it may not be the crackers that, the large crackers, but at least they have some flavor for crackers. And then what I'm gonna do also here is just for fun, I'm gonna put a little bit more crackers here on this cutlery board just so they can have, um, you know, something else to, something else to taste. So, that is it guys. I'm gonna give you a close up on all of this so that you can actually see um, what, um, you know, what all is here on this board because I know that a lot of people are like, oh my God, she did the board without, you know, she, she didn't actually film the entire board. And uh, you're right, I didn't. But, you know, this is live, people. There are no cuts and takes and, and edits and things like this. This is just actual live. Um, I don't, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know I don't like to do a whole lot of cuts and takes and editing and all of that. You know, this is a real channel. There are no cuts and takes and edits. Um, every now and then, if I feel like it's just something that, you know, that does not need to be in the video, I will edit it or cut it out. Um, but this is Cindy. This is real life. This is my kitchen. This is my real home. This is where I live. This is me. Okay. And I'm so happy you guys are here joining me today. If you are new to this channel, please click like hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you a part of the family and so that you can stay tuned to some of the upcoming videos that I will be posting in the near future. Um, fall is here and I will be posting a fall home tour or home video. I like to rearrange the family room, uh, decorate the tables, and uh, just make it uh, a little bit fall. And I also like to do the front porch. This year, if I have time, I may um, make a fall area in the backyard. And if I do, I will go ahead and take that for you guys as well and upload it. Um, however, this is pretty much it. And I know it's been a while for most of you. You guys haven't seen me in a while, but you know, life takes its place. It takes its course. And there's a lot of things going on. As you know, um, COVID-19 is still out in real people. I can't say that, you know, um, enough. So still, you got to be safe. You got to be careful. And um, what else? I, I, still, I still have my mom with me. So she's living with us and I'm taking care of her on a daily basis. So there's a lot of things going on in the day-to-day -day life that sometimes you're just not able to upload a video. And uh, I do want to wish everyone well. Um, I hope that you guys are being safe. And uh, I hope that you continue to watch my channel. It's going to grow and I would love to have more subscribers. I would love to reach 500 subscribers. If I can reach 500 subscribers, I am going to give a big giveaway away for everyone um, once I reach the 500 subscriber. Um, and then when I reach the 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a full home tour uh, video. So I'm just waiting for the subscribers to come in so that I can feel like that I am sharing something um, with everyone. Right now, I'm just at 328 subscribers, and I would love to have more. So make sure you share this video with your family and your friends on your social media channels and Ask them to come along and check your girl out. I would love to have them. So let me give you a close-up view on this charcuterie board and you can see everything that I incorporated in this board.
want to give you an idea of what's on this um, charcuterie board. Um, of course, we have the prosciutto, um, prosciutto. Uh, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but you know what I'm saying. It, it's dried aged ham, pretty much. Um, I have the different cheeses here. Um, I have the Italian um, crackers. Uh, this is a goat cheese. This is also a goat cheese, but it is a strawberry uh, cheese. And I'm just going to open that up so that you can see it um, a little bit. You can see all the herbs and flavors that's, you know, in it. It's really, really nice. And right here we have the spicy uh, walnuts, spicy honey walnuts. Here we have the dry aged ham, again, prosciutto. Uh, but this is a crumbled pro prosciutto. Um, right here we have the lemon flavor um, uh, tuna that comes in the pack. And I know it looks a little discolored, but that is the way that it comes because it's already filled with like different preservatives and flavors and things like that. So it's not going to be as white as the one that's in the can. So if you buy it in the pack, do expect for it to be just a little uh, dark and it's not going to be completely white like the ones in the can. This, These two here are the spicy jalapeno um, tunas right here. Uh, right here we have the fig, the chili fig spread that goes well with any type of crackers. Um, over here we have another tray of the dry aged um, prosciutto uh, ham that I like to call it. And then right here we have the, um, what is it? It's the sweet maple walnuts um, that I have. And then right here is the cranberry, and I have them here, the cranberry glazed walnuts. You can find those at any of your grocery stores. So I put those there. Um, this uh, cheese ball is the smoky bacon that I showed you at the beginning of the video and let me say this over this is the cranberry orange and cinnamon i want to make sure you understand what that is cranberry orange and cinnamon uh cheese spread that's what that is so that's going to give you all kind of flavors on top of your crackers um right here we have the beer spread um the spicy beer is what it's called and it's just another cheesy spread and what i did was i put those uh uh, cracker sticks in there because they can also dip that and then just dip the sticks in if if you know they like um over here we have some more uh cheeses the american and pepper jack cheese here right here we have some more cranberry and walnuts um we have a few more of the italian crackers and then i have some of the baby tomatoes here um you know people like different things all sorts of things so i added some of the baby tomatoes right there um here we have the fig um in this little bowl that i put here and then i have some more of the um flatbread italian herb crackers and then in the back here, we have some more of the prosciutto that's right here in the front. It's just on different ends as far as well as cheeses. I like to put the cheeses on different ends, the meat on different ends. You got the spreads on both sides. You have the um, walnuts on both sides. You have the fruit. Uh, the only fruit really here is the grapes. Um, I probably could have sliced some oranges and some apples um, as well, but I just didn't have time. I ran out of time. And again, we want to keep this quick and short. And remember, you want to do this under 20 minutes or under 30 minutes if your guests are arriving or if it's something short term or last minute that guests are coming. And or if this is just a pre up to to a uh, sit down dinner that you may be having um for uh, any of your guests, you know, this charcuterie board or char board is something quick and simple that you can put together for everyone. Again, um, over here in the back, I have this smoked uh, salmon um, cheese spread in the back. And then I have some spicy um, jalapeno uh, dill pickers right here on the corner. Um, and um, then over here, of course, I told you guys about the lemons that I cut up for the guys, you know, for them to 
either clear their uh, palates with the lemon after they've eaten some of the tuna and some of the uh, other spreads here. And then there's some beef jerky just for them to, you know, shoot, um, you know, talk a lot of crap to each other and, and you know, play around with it while they're sitting drinking and um, their beer and all of that. So, and also I'm going to add some toothpicks to the board so that, you know, toothpicks are always good to make sure that you have, you know, near the board so that they can be able to, um, um, you know, use them as they please. So, and last but not least, I forgot is the, um, the shrimp cocktail, of course. And this was a last minute thing that I added. Um, my intention was not to add the shrimp cocktail, but I decided why not? It's fun, it's quick, it's simple, and it just adds one more thing to your charcuterie board that people can come by and they can pick up and they can take and they can just, you know, eat on and not have a problem with. So all of these things are things that you can use at any time that you may already have in your cupboard is what I already had in my fridge, in my cupboard, and I just put it together. Um, it may not be your traditional charcuterie board, but um, it is, you know, something that um, you can put together that can make a nice little snack or meal for, you know, the people when they come around. So. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this short video on the charcuterie board. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you a close up and show you the charcuterie board up close. And then that way you can see all the items that I have on here for yourself. And then you can decide, you know, if it's something that you would like to put together for your family or for your friends or again, as a pre -ump to to a fantastic dinner that you're putting together for some of your family and friends. So again, here's the charcuterie board. You guys take it in. I'm gonna give you a closer up um, to the charcuterie. So now that the charcuterie board is all done, I think I am going to have me just a little wine. And uh, it never hurts.
It's for the guys, but why not try it? I made it, right? Delicious. Mm. The spicy beer is delicious. And the smoked salmon cheese spread is to die for. So... yummy so I pour myself a glass of wine I want to wish you all well I want to thank you for watching the channel and as always you guys be blessed and always lend a hand to your neighbor or to a friend or someone who's in need because your blessings will overflow when you help others that are in need I like to say that if you guys are interested in uh, custom made wreaths, please make sure that you visit my page or inbox me. Um, I do make custom made wreaths uh, according to whatever your taste is, fall, spring, summer, year round wreaths. And this is a sample of one that's in the, the, in the back of me. So if you guys are interested, please make sure that you inbox me or send me a message and let me know. Um, what you guys are looking for and I'll be happy to oblige so again please share like share and subscribe um, I would love to have all the newcomers that are watching this channel please go ahead and subscribe and share this video with your family and friends until next time this is Cindy signing out Remember guys, if you're interested in a custom made wreath, these are just an example of some of the wreaths that I make. Please inbox me or leave me a message and a phone number and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. All right. Thanks. Thank you again for watching.